Welcome back to my golf museum. I have a picture here of uh, three gentlemen who are quite famous in golf. Do you know who they are? Well, the middle one is a 20-year-old when this was taken named Francis We Met. And if you saw the movie, The Greatest Game Ever Played, you will know that he beat these two gentlemen from the United Kingdom who were world champions themselves. Harry Barden, six-time Open champion, and Ted Ray, who also had won the Open and won the U.S. Open as well. So, what did that do for golf in America? <laughs> Well, it took golf from just the upper level only to the common man, because here was a 20-year-old ex-caddy playing in this event who beat these great champions. Now, he did not only that, but here are some things you can see by looking at some Pinehurst pictures here. These were from magazines, The Country Life in America. And this particular one says, no consumptives received at Pinehurst. Now, that means if you had tuberculosis, you were not welcome. Well, what does that have to do with Francis we met? It's simply that Francis, again, one of the places where he was able to win a championship was what, to one of the most famous golf resorts in America, Pinehurst, where he won the North-South Championship. Now, after Francis became the champion of the United States, he did some work in a sporting goods store with a man called Sullivan. And Mr. Sullivan thought, Francis, you know, we could sell more clubs if we got your name on the clubs. And so what do we have here? We have here a putter that says, we met and Sullivan. What? Francis we met put his name on a golf club and the USGA had a rule that said you could not use your name or likeness for personal advancement financially. You are going to be a non-amateur and that's exactly what they did. For 16 months they took away Francis's amateur status. It was quite a blow to the American golfing public and they were very sad about it, but that was the rule. And quietly, a year and a half later, the USGA reinstated him as an amateur and that was so fortunate because Francis went on to become a great player in the United States. He won the US Amateur later in 1931 and quite a while after the 1913 championship win, so he had a long career, and he also did something very, very special. There is a, a We Met scholarship fund for young people who have been caddies at clubs, particularly in the Northeast of the United States, and have given away over $23 million to help young people get college educations, all because of a kid who started in a house that was across the street from the golf club and built a little chip and putt area in his backyard and then was able to get over to the club once in a while and make some swings when he became a caddy. He started caddying there nine or ten years of age and by that time he was hooked and he hooked the whole country when he won.